Hello again, it's Priscilla Batsell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery and I have an 18 by 24 inch canvas and a crib sheet of some colors. I'm having a throwback Thursday on whatever day this happens to fall on. I have some square containers. This one I made out of a heavy cream container from like, that's forever old. These I found in the um, surplus kitchen supply at the local church bazaar store. And I'm going to use this one. The last time I did this, I did it on a 14 by 14. Make sure there's no dust in there. And I did sort of, I did sort of make a list so I could, no dog hairs. So I could use some of the colors that I used before. And that was the, um, ha! That is a cobalt blue from Artist Loft that's not cobalt blue at all. This is a metallic red. And I had some black in here, and I'm going to substitute whatever I usually use for my Amsterdam black. I think you could use any black. My Amsterdam black happens to have some pre-stained wood conditioner in it, but I don't think that that's an important part of this process. So I'm not going to worry about it. I used some regular white. That's Anita's. I've got some Amsterdam. Me and the paint chips. There's a little regular white, then I put some pearl in. And I'm giving it a bit of a squeeze. And I am going to try and fill this container up. Then I used my color shifting turquoise from Folk Art. I might use that again move those out of the way or at least put them where I can find them again on the other side for right now. I have alternatives to colors I used back then. I am going to use my light purple although I do want the amethyst. Where is the amethyst? Here amethyst I found it. All right so I'm going to use the amethyst from Artist Loft. couple of places and uh, hit it up with a little bit of my folk art neon purple that I've added golden iridescent pearl fine to. I have a new color which is electric blue from Arteza and I want to use some of that. It's not really a dirty pour cup for me because I'm sort of putting it in different sections as I go. Uh, no, it says light orange yet. Next, so I'm gonna do. Ooh, this one's almost ready to mix some more, some new stuff. That turquoise looks suspiciously like. No, it's correct. I thought it was the emerald green, which is really similar. Light orange, and then the gold, which is in this case deco art. Americana 24 karat gold. that out of the way too. Dioxazine purple right now. Wow. Yep, yeah, that's good. Maybe a few of those squeezes. Then the green gold. And I know there's supposed to be some orange in there. I do. I know that. <laughs> so I'm going to use some color shifting red from Folk Art. And a little bit more orange. I did want to fill this container up. I might not actually need to fill the whole container up. It looks like a lot more paint than I realized. I must have only filled the, the other one halfway. I'm going to give myself a little dollop more of the turquoise because I love how it looks. And on it I'm going to give myself some of the color shifting turquoise from Folk Art. I'm just going to rainbow it out right out. I've got um, Golden Hour. Do I? Maybe I don't. Golden Hour from Arteza. I wanted some yellow in there. Now I've got it. And I never did put any more red. Maybe a little do dollop of that red on the orange. The oranges, yep. Okay. This is going to be... Yeah, that's a lot of colors. 
I sort of went overboard. I never did put any of my pink, which is, in my case, the hot orchid, but I think that the, um, the neon pink from folk art would work quite well. Here's the, it's, it's brighter, but f for sure, but it would make a statement just the same. People are asking me what they can use instead. And I like the neon pink from folk art with some of the neon purple added to it until I get something sort of similar, sort of similar to that a little bit. Anyway, I don't have any more Anita's white metallic in there and I want some. Maybe I'll put some, no, maybe I'll use it around the edges. That's what I'll do. All right, so the proverbial here goes nothing. Let's make sure I got plenty of elbow room. That's a lot of paint. That is more paint than I need. I'm going to be tipping this for sure. And I might save some paint. I would like no dust. <laughs> but what are the chances? Get that torch out of here too. I'd like to... You know what? I've got a stretcher bar in the back. It's locked. Come on. Let go. <laughs> that could have been really embarrassing. I went away and primed my canvas and I had a little bit of paint on my turntable tile. All right. So if I go... <laughs> At least I can lift it off now and it's not stuck anymore. Let's save some paint. Let's do a little bit of the Anita's. Not into the paint though. Because when I did this on the 14 by 14, it was on a, a, a dry canvas, which was a mistake at the time. And I just happened to fill it in a little with some white and that seemed to work. It's in the 2000s. I think it's on the Facebook group. It's, it's posted right now. I'm gonna sort of make an adjustment with my skewer here. Let that get close to that paint. So when I tip it, it'll flow like I want it to. That's my, that's what I imagine I'm doing anyway. Okay, so I saved some paint and it's beautiful. It's got gorgeous cells in there and beautiful colors. And I'm not gonna worry about that right now. I might grab an edge catcher. I'm, there's no might about it. I'm gonna grab an edge catcher. And it's an ugly one, so it's perfect to go in there. Get a couple more bottles out of my way. Loving my color combination. You know what? I really want a torch because I can see a whole lot of bubbles. And honestly, if you torch early on, if, you, if you've got a cell activator involved in your stuff, and you torch early on, you get more chance of getting those cells to pop than later on. There's so many pretty colors, like I really don't want to lose this purple, which means to me that I can put some more on there. Because it will be the color, first the wrong way, then the right way, that tips away. There is, mm, I need some new edge catchers. I've also got some Venetian blue iridescent Venetian blue, blue that I didn't have when I did this original painting that I'm trying to recapture the spirit of. I've got some nice cells. I wish there was a way to, to move things separately. If I moved this far enough, the truth is, if I could move it far enough so it would stop moving, then I could use the paint that I have left. And backwards. I need the not paint covered portion. 
and I'm going to want some of that hot orchid back again. I can tell you now, right now, and I might, I didn't use the neon, but I'm going to because it's a lot less expensive than the hot orchid. I kind of want to move that. I think I'm going to use a straw. To create some sort of unified edge. I also see that I have some pretty paint there and I can't think of a reason in the world not to use it. Now there's always the possibility that I could smear some of this. I guess I'm just going for the corner. But at least I get to keep some of my pink. We'll see. Let's bring it back again. While it's tipping, I'll just steal some paint off my edge catcher. Not my finest tower, um, yet. I am thinking that I should just pick the colors that I like and use them as I wish. Like in, I like the dioxazine purple and the drama that it brings. And what color do I want to put in here? I think the pink is the answer for me. And I think I'm gonna go save a little because I might want something for the edge. my edge catcher back. Well, I got some really nice huge cells. I don't have much gold and I'm thinking that I would like some. I might blow that out with a straw again. Come on, stop. Stop, stop, stop. Thank you. <laughs> that was weird. I'm not minding that. I'm really thinking, what am I thinking? <laughs> that I like that orange. Maybe not. Maybe not that color. Maybe the lighter orange. That's still light. Lighter than what I've got there. I think. It's not coming out. Where's the one that was coming out? There we go. I got something. Yeah, I like that. something darker. Is it? It's not really. Wow. I thought that was a different color. Let me go back to using my skewer. Actually, you know what? I could definitely use a Princeton Art Tool Catalyst spatula. It's better if I get the paint from the last episode off of it, which I didn't. Sometimes I like to keep it on. To 
change up the colors. I'm liking all of that. I'm missing my hot orchid that I really want more of. So I am going to take advantage of the fact that as long as my paints and bottles and I can use it freely, I'm going to do that. Now I'm thinking, am I? <laughs> it could be dangerous. What are you, smoke burning? <laughs> There, I'm not unhappy with that. I just have to decide what, if anything. And you know what? I've got some old art mines, mysterious, that I think would be beautiful over here. I've been hoarding the very last little dregs of it. Actually, I think I also add some some Floetrol pouring medium mixture to it. Let's do that. I like that. I don't have much of the electric blue showing either. So let's do that. That's fun. Feeling some gold over here. I still want to tip this down, but I'm sort of having a moment where I want to decide that I'm going to do something a little riotous with those colors. I didn't use any of this. Oh. And it's not open anyway. Be nice if it would. Nope, it's not going to. All right, I'll just use regular gold. I was going to use some more white metallic, and I still could do that. Really could. Sometimes some extra neutral uh, negative space is a really good thing. I don't know if it will be this time, but I'll give it a shot. I'll clean off my skewer and see if I can lead it in there. I'm still being called to orange. Right in there. Yep, that's exactly what I wanted, right in there. And I think I'm going to finish my... my golden edge. Pretty sure this is not how I did the last time I did what I did. But I'm okay with an alternative. It's really hard to do the same thing twice anyway. Even if it was easy, I'm not sure I would want to. I don't have much black in there either. some. 